I think the biggest challenge to establishing a school partnership is probably um, A, the attitude of your staff, B, perhaps the attitudes and expectations of parents, um, and then I guess the attitudes of the you know, depending on who you want to establish the partnership with of, of, of the other schools in your area or the businesses, etc. I don't think all in all you'll have much problem with the businesses or the museums that we talked about earlier. Um, I think if you want to establish local school partnerships, then, then it's a good idea if you have a sort of um, some way of contacting the, the school head of the other schools in your area. Maybe call a meeting and, and discuss and chat and see, look, this is what I'm thinking of doing. How, are you, how do you think you can contribute to this? Are you interested? The biggest challenge is, is the school staff themselves, depending on the kind of school, you know, whether you're doing this for the first time, whether you're starting from scratch in trying to open your school to, to partnership or whether there's already an established tradition. <clears throat> Excuse me. If there if you're starting from scratch, well then you have to you have to to motivate your staff. You have to, to help them understand the the value that you see in it, but also help them to see the value for themselves. So how you do that I guess is by by putting your ideas to, to them having open dialogue with them, discussing with them, um, starting in small ways. Don't, don't, don't start ambitiously, you know, start on something very, very small, something unthreatening for them. Uh, and once this is established, you know, then, then you can begin gradually to, to broaden it out. Um, so, as I said, for parents, parents could be also a challenge. And for them, they have to understand that the kind of opportunities and activities that you're planning to do within a partnership is ultimately benefiting their their child's education in a broader sense. So that it's not you're not just focusing on exams, which of course are very important, but if you introduce them to the idea that in the 21st century their pu their kids are going to need skills that aren't measured by the traditional curriculum and it's only through involvement in these sort of open activities within the partnership be it with another school be it with industry be it with uh, art museums or whatever it's only through these things that their children will begin to to develop those other very important soft skills that are so valued in in the marketplace today but which are never, never addressed in traditional curriculum.